They actually say SWAG stands for Souvenirs, Wearables, and Gifts, so it's an acronym. Some people think it stands for Stuff We All Get. Industry alternatives to the word SWAG are tchotchkes, promo, promotional products, promo gifts, um, giveaways. So, but the millennial, if you say SWAG, it appeals to them. That's what they call it. The, the term promotional products to swag, at least in our everyday conversation, it changed in the last five years. And a millennial 22 year old actually runs the swag buying for Facebook. Facebook, Google, WeWork, Bravo, Virgin, Harry, Starbucks, all of our big customers are all bought by a 25 to 30 year old. The swag industry is a $40 billion industry. They say it's about 24 billion because they quote the different distribution networks, but they don't take into consideration people going directly to a manufacturer or to a screen printer. It's a massive industry. Every year it's getting bigger and bigger. 2017 was the biggest year yet. I think in a couple of years, people won't be buying the throwaway tchotchkes. They won't be as price sensitive. They'll be more about quality over price. And the best swag is stuff that people actually want to keep. So people typically think of promotional products or swag as I want you to be a walking billboard for my company. But what we've seen over the last two years is kind of be, be taken a shift. It's been more focused on products that are more important to the actual person who's getting it. And less about broadcasting the brand, it's more about getting that connection, that community. Um, you receive a water bottle with, your, with the company's logo, you're going to use it every day. Other people won't see it, but you'll see it. You'll feel more of a connection to that company. And in the long run, maybe you'll be a customer, you'll be a fan, and eventually you'll turn into an evangelist. At the end of the day, you should not be so careful about budget and so worried about the budget because what's going to happen is you're going to buy poor swag that's not only going to tarnish your brand because it's not going to look good, the print quality won't be great, but it's also going to be, end up in the trash, so it's going to cost the company money. It's worth it if you're looking at two t-shirts and one costs $5 and one costs $7, but the $7 is that much more soft, it feels really nice. People are gonna wear that $7 one. The return on investment for swag is very hard to quantify. We think every single company should be using it because what happens when someone gives you something? You say thank you. It's the only ad medium where someone says thank you once you're giving it to them. So we think the return on investment is amazing, and especially for startups who don't have the massive budgets for commercials. Um, it's just a great way for them to get exposure, get their name out there. But more than that, it's really about building a community.